everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm going to review 2019 year to date. This is the trading result for the Stock Swoosh Show Live Trading Room. Really big year this year. I've been really very focused on the calls in the room. Um, everyone's doing great in the room. I'm, I'm really proud of everyone for the focus, and uh, it's just been a great start to the year. And the irony is that I mostly look at shorts in the morning. And the first four months of the year, uh, the market was very bullish. Uh, now we've dropped off in the last two weeks, but ultimately um, it's just proof positive that my system works in any market conditions, uh, particularly even if you're looking to short. So year-to-date results, again, this is advanced trader risk. We'll go over that later, 202,630. Uh, this is as of through yesterday, May 13th. So what a nice start to the year. Uh, not even halfway through the year. Very, very happy with this year and looking to continue this into the end of the year. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So right now it's earnings season, so there's been lots and lots of things to trade. There's four quarterly earnings seasons during the year, and during the non-earnings season time, there's still plenty of things to trade. There's just not as many okay so it, it, it really for me i like to look at one thing at a time anyways but for people that like to do multiple trades they prefer earnings season now i do like to focus on one thing a day maybe two i think once you have your goal in for the day you should stop i mean that's just you know my personal preference and i think people tend to give money back when they trade all day or in the afternoon so the trading room is only open from 8 30 to about 10 30 eastern time um, and, and I like to watch stuff really by 10 o'clock. If I don't see anything, I just say that's it. But earnings season is a very, very profitable time, and we're in that right now. So this is going back the start to the year. Started off in January, uh, and again, the market started off really very bullish here. Some of these were longs, and some of these were shorts. Uh, January was a solid month. And then getting into February, a couple of days before earnings season began, there weren't any trades off on the 5th. And Twitter was a really nice gap. Then earnings season started, and it got to be busier and busier. And again, we've done some trades here in the market. The SPY and the QQQs is, is the ETS for the market. And, and it's just one of these things where the market has had a lot of volatility. So it's made for some good trades. Walmart was a nice one. Domino's Pizza in there. This is into February. WTW was a beautiful gap. HPQ, again, all the stocks that we trade are companies you would recognize or know they have volume. I don't do anything and never have with anything that's crappy stocks or low cost stocks or penny stocks. They're just ridiculous to trade and also very too, too much risk. You can short something and take 2,000 shares and get a dollar move in something to make two grand very quickly in all of these stocks that have volume and move. And, and that other stuff is just junk. Uh, this, I, you really learn with my system how to actually trade like a professional trader. So SPY was a nice one starting into March. Again, market's been very volatile. Cost was another beautiful gap, was an option in that. March, again, was a good solid month. Stitch fix just didn't work. In fact, I haven't looked at that chart lately. I have to pull that up. Uh, DG was a good one in there. And then Nike was a nice one into the end of March then, getting into April. Again, earnings season started. And WTW, again, beautiful gap. Disney was pretty much so far the gap of the year. Uh, nothing's compared to that. Multiple trades in Disney throughout the course of the last few months and also uh, options trades too. Disney has just, Disney's just been amazing. Uh, Twitter was a nice gap on the 23rd. IRBT and a couple other ones in there. You might recognize WDC. That's a big company. INTC did not work on the 26th. No trades on the 29th. MGM was a nice one on the 30th. Apple, beautiful, beautiful gap on the first. Uh, HLF didn't work on the second. And then again, getting into the second week, markets started falling off around the first though. Seventh was the SPY, two nice trades in there. DDD was a good one on the eighth. QQQs and again the SPY, when the market sets up and has rated well, we've done it. And the 10th was a SPY, and then the 13th was a SPY, and Tiva. Tiva was a really nice one that was a news gap on the 13th. So for those of you that have been asking, what's an advanced trader risk to hit these kind of mark? 2,000 a trade. Some are a little bit less, but I'd say to roughly 2,000 would be conservative per trade risk. And again, you're looking to take one trade a day and maybe two. If you can't afford that, then divide that number by what you can afford, whether it's divided by two, divided by four, divided by 10, okay? 
if you take and look and see, most people lose money in the market. And one of the reasons that they do is they don't have a correct strategy to trade and they don't have a, a mentor to follow daily in the live trading room. So I call the trades live in the room every day. It's very helpful for people. You cannot join my live room until you've done the class and learned the system. It's very, very important. These trades set up quickly and I feel that people need to know how to trade and what to do and what they're looking for because ultimately you're risking your own money when you're trading. Have you been thinking about doing this uh, and you've been wanting to change careers, work for yourself, work from home? That's, that's what day trading is. You need a computer, you need an internet connection, and you must learn my system, and then you can join the room and follow the calls. So I teach a class, it's called the Golden Gap Course. The class is this weekend for May, so don't miss it. You want to get involved, you want to get in. Again, there's still more than half the year left, and it's a great time to start getting in and jumping in and trading. May 18th and 19th, 9 to 5 is a class. Class tuition is $59.99 a year. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. The trends class is Monday, May 20th, and I do a combo deal where you save $500 if you sign up for both of these together. Now, if you're interested in just doing options, there are no prerequisites for that. It's $49.99 a year. You get all the options trades emailed to you. These trades that I just reviewed were called in the live room. They were not option trades. They were equity trades, just to be specific, okay? So either one, if you're interested in any of these things, email me at melissathestockswoosh.com. And again, you know, it's been a very good year. If you have been thinking about day trading, reach out. Give me a call. Have a great day, everyone.